Hey everybody, I'm your man Mike Wolford and you're watching another episode of The Dude's Kitchen. But today, we're introducing a new series called Angela's Kitchen. This is Angela, she's my daughter, and she's gonna be taking over The Dude's Kitchen for about 10 episodes while I'm on special assignment. What do I mean by special assignment? In other words, I'm helping Mrs. Dude. So without further ado, my daughter Angela. Hey everyone, I'm Angela. As my dad said, I'm taking over the dude's kitchen for 10 episodes. I'm gonna be bringing you vegetarian and vegan recipes. He told me he had a lot of recommendations for it, so he asked me to come in and make those some recipes for you. Uh, today we're gonna to be making a vegan pad thai. Um, I did this recipe last week. It was delicious. It's the best thing I have ever tasted. So let's get started. All right, with this pad thai, we have four main ingredients and then we are going to make our sauce to go on top. So first you need one cup of shredded carrots. These are pre-shredded because I am a busy mom and I don't have time to shred this. So you just dump it in the bowl. Then we have one cup of zucchini. I cut these with a mandolin. Again, busy mom, don't have time. These are also easy to mix and put together while you're at work or out and about doing whatever you're doing for your family. The next we have one cup of red bell pepper and finally one fourth cup of peanuts. So this is your base and if you can see that, that is a lot of vegetables, a lot of food that is going to fill you up, keep you full and satisfied until you can eat again. Next, we are going to work on our sauce that goes on top. So first thing, we have one ginger and one uh, garlic. These are from just from the frozen section. So you're gonna put it into your little blender. Then we have one tablespoon of uh, agave. Pour that in there. One fourth cup of water. one half of a juiced lime, one fourth cup of creamy peanut butter, and then one fourth cup of tahini. The tahini really brings out the peanut butter and they just blend together so well and it's so delicious. So you can make this ahead of time. This does make two to four servings or you can put it together on the go. It's very simple. Now we're going to blend it. And I'm just using my little, my tiny blender. It should be about that consistency, kind of like creamy peanut butter consistency. Bring your bowl base back in. Try and dump this. Like I said, this is easy to make ahead of time and just portion it out into two to four depending on how much you want to eat per meal and how full you want to eat uh, or how full you want to be um, after lunch. And then you'll put the sauce into little containers as well so that you can just dump it on the go. You can heat this up. I prefer it heated up but right now this is just raw. So we're just going to mix this up. All right, let's try this. It's so good. And it's so filling. No vegetables. You have your fats. Using quick for a busy mom. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. And I've got peanut butter everywhere. All right, welcome back. We're gonna go on to the second dish today. This one is a vegetarian dish. Um, it's at very simple, 30 seconds to put together. I take this one with me if I don't have anything prepped for the week. Uh, my, I'm a busy mom and I'm a student and I'm a full-time employee and I've got my own job. I have a lot going on. I have to have these meals be healthy, delicious, full of nutrients and quick. The best part is, is that my family enjoys these meals too. So let's get into the second dish. It is a Mediterranean pita wrap. All right, this one is super easy. It takes four ingredients, 
The first thing is a whole wheat pita. This doesn't have any refined sugars or carbs in it. So your body digests it longer, meaning you'll stay full longer. You also need cucumbers. However many cucumbers you want at whatever consistency you want. I like it to have a little bit of crunch. So I like it to be a little thick by, I don't know, one eighth inch thick. I just use a mandolin to cut these up. Again, a vegetable. It is going to keep you full and satisfied longer. Then we have our healthy fats. I have a little bit of feta cheese and a little bit of hummus. So there's two ways that you can make this. The first one is by cutting it in half and stuffing it. The next one is putting it on top. I kind of like it like a pizza, so I'm gonna just put it on top. So first, you'll take your hummus, scoop it out. It's easy to use the back of a spoon. Just put it on there. If you want more hummus, feel free to do that. I don't enjoy hummus, so I'm okay not having all of it. You're having it full. Then you will put your cucumbers on there. And finally, your feta. Just on top like that. That is it. If you don't have a knife to cut it in half, the pizza route's the way to go. If you have two extra seconds and a knife with you, like I do here, but chose not to use it, then you can cut it in half and stuff it. Let's try this. All right, this isn't clean. It's gonna get a bit messy, but that's part of the fun, right? So good, so filling. And I know I'm gonna stay full until dinner with this. Thanks for watching.